Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And I'll tell you what's hot. According to Edible Ornamentals of Chawston in Bedfordshire, the British grown and bred Armageddon chilli with a heat temperature of 1.4 million Scoville units is a contender for the hottest chilli against the Carolina Reaper. More on that later. Also, we've learned that this is inspiring this to offer to become caretaker prime minister. Well, that didn't generate much excitement and cold water was poured on that idea. Well, to the equity markets now and Brexit uncertainty, putting a dampener on last week's gains in sterling. And in fact, a lot of the movement in the equity markets is due to the return of the asset managers from their holidays who are anointing shares with neutral sell, outperform and hold. Well, Can Accord upgraded pub and restaurant operator Mitchells and Butlers to buy from a hold. This just a day after Green King announced it was being bought for £2.7 billion. Read David Harbage's blog on lse.co.uk for more. RBC Capital cutting pest control at Rentacle to sector perform from outperform. Goldman Sachs raising copper miner Antofagasta to neutral from sell. But these recommendations aren't on a level playing field where brokerages are concerned and website MarketWatch has tried valiantly to give you its guide to rating systems. But question, without uniformity are ratings meaningless? Answers on a postcard. Okay, to the rest of the week and the anticipated highlights. So let's go to Wednesday when we will be hearing from Costain. Now in June, shares in the infrastructure services company said profit may fall by as much as 27% for the year, all down to project delays including the M6 Smart Motorway, uh, Preston Distributor Road and HS2 Southern Section Railway Main Works. Yet, as you can see, the brokers are confident. The business is upgrading London's, London's sewer system and an A19 project because, as we know, all roads lead to Hartlepool. Unless, of course, you are a French spy. And in that case, you're not welcome. To Thursday now, and we will get finals from Laura Ashley. Now, it's not all flowery frocks, as the business has a chain of hotels. Uh, expect afternoon teas, Downton Abbey style and big mirrors. But will revenue match the expansion of the business? And will there be any more mention of the unseemly, unsolicited £20 million takeover offer by US investment firm Flax? It's simply not cricket, though the share price looks like a drunken wench tottering on stilettos. Well, Friday we hear from long-established company Henry Boot. Now, the business has been around some time, but keeps up with the times, and we've recently heard about a £110 million proposal for 550 homes on land at the Bridge of Don in Aberdeenshire. Some of the homes could be powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Well, do have a look at the Henry Boot Way booklet. And a lot of it appears to be written in Haiku, if you're interested in that type of thing. OK, there's been plenty of jokes about leaks from Operation Yellowhammer, but enjoy the best joke to come out of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, courtesy of Olaf Falafel. I keep randomly shouting broccoli and cauliflower. I think I may have florets. Are you laughing? Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back next week.